All right. Uh, thank you all for tuning in, and welcome to this week's presentation. Now, I hope everyone's having a decent week in the market so far. Uh, for those of you that are regular Shark viewers, welcome back. And for any new viewers, um, we hope you get something out of this and you continue to tune in. Uh, now, we are aware that everyone has a lot going on, so just know that we really appreciate you guys spending the next 45 minutes or so with us. Go ahead and type a Y in the chat if my audio is coming through all right. Awesome. Thank you, Heinz. Julius, Jeffrey, I appreciate it, guys. Now, for those of you that are uh, first-timers here, my name's Ty. I'm one of the guys here at Shark Indicators. Uh, I've been with the company for a couple of years now, and it's, it's been an awesome experience so far. Uh, we've been involved in the Ninja Trader ecosystem for five years, uh, and we develop some of the most capable trading tools in the industry. Now, that being said, you've got to put in the work uh, to hit your mark. That goes for anything you do. So let's take a quick look at the uh, risk disclosure. Just take a minute and look this over. Now what we do for uh, events like this is we bring in ninja trader vendors and educators uh, to bring you guys a lot of variety and exposure to different trading methods and personalities. Uh, each one of these presenters is successful in their own right and each offers a unique trading style. So let's dive into today's topic uh, which is focusing on the capabilities that come with combining Blackbird uh, with the Remix system. Now today we'll be learning from Ferenc Mazaros, uh, so just a brief intro for Ferenc. He's one of our top partners, and he's chief system architect of Aremic. Um, interestingly enough, he just returned from Europe, where he was actually teaching trade strategy design in the Masters of Finance program at Central European University. He's got over a decade of experience in banking and trading, and he's an early adopter of our trading tools, which makes him a choice presenter for these events. So without any further ado, I'm just going to get right into it and pass the mic and the screen over to you, Ferenc. Thank you very much, Ty. It's a pleasure to be here, and I wonder if I'm coming through okay. Let me just see. Yep, your audio is coming through loud and clear. Fans. Okay, and I hope you can see my opening screen, the best of both worlds. Yep, we're good to go. Okay, thank you, Ty. So welcome, everyone, and it's a pleasure to be here with you, and I'll try to be brief and straight to the point, as uh, we always try to, as we appreciate your time. Uh, this is our first webinar uh, from back in Toronto. It's a real pleasure to be back home. And uh, so today, uh, without further ado, we're going to jump into our topic, which is how to automate a discretionary system to the degree um, that we want and where we can find our sweet spot along the continuum. Let me try to learn how to move. Okay, so here we go. Oops, sorry. Okay, so here's our team. As always, let me introduce our team to you very briefly. Our company was founded in Toronto in 2011, and I had the pleasure uh, to work with uh, two great guys uh, in the company, Gabor, who's our head trader, and Zoltan, my younger brother, who's been a ES specialist, uh, uh, quite successful for many, many years now. And uh, we, as uh, Ty mentioned, we are early adopters of both tools, both Bloodhound and Blackbird, since uh, these products came out. And I'd like to focus today on how we can combine the power of the Remex system with the capabilities of Blackbird. So here's the agenda very briefly. Uh, the automated discretionary continuum. Uh, each of us who ever traded are somewhere along this continuum. And we can move back and forth a little bit, but sooner or later, it's desirable to find our spot. And this is how I'd like to, uh, uh, this is what I'd like to highlight a little bit today, just to ease for each of us, including uh, ourselves, to place uh, our trading style on this continuum somewhere. Uh, then we're going to uh, look at the challenge and how a challenge of executing uh, consistently in real time. The human brain has certain uh, restrictions as, you know, how much information we can process a second. Um, luckily, computers will help us do a quick and perfect job at that. All right, we're going to mention uh, how to create a sustainable trading business briefly. This, is, this will vary from person to person, but there, I think there are some general guidelines that I'd like to share with you today, and uh, the event would not go without an exclusive offer. Uh, and a special one today because uh, we are restructuring our prices starting October 1st. So I hope I'll be able to, um, to offer you some pretty good deals for the last time today. All right, so let's move on. 
So uh, let me ask you guys, uh, where would you pay, place yourself uh, along this uh, uh, continuum of fully discretionary and fully automated? Uh, if you consider yourself a fully discretionary trader, then uh, please type a Y for me. Let me see how many yeses I might be getting here. Fully discretionary doesn't mean no rules. It just means that each rule is evaluated by a human person, which means yourselves. All right. Oh, I'm getting quite a few. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I think most of us are more to the discretionary side today. That might be my guess. But before we really see the full picture, let me see how many would you consider very close or totally automated in the audience today. Again, yeses. Okay, quite a few are coming in. Perhaps a bit fewer. Yeah, I'm getting some 0.5s, okay. Right, that's somewhere. We're gonna look at the ideal spot where that might be. Still no audio. Somebody says no audio. Uh, let me check with you guys. Can you hear me? Just a quick yes, okay. So, uh, T, if that's your name, uh, if you could look at your audio, perhaps uh, there might be some problem at the other end. Okay, so let's move on and see how can we decide where to place ourselves and our trading style along this continuum. Well, if we want to be, uh, you know, mostly discretionary, that's one way to go, but we have to, in either case, uh, we have to deal with some difficulties. And uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, some of the most obvious difficulties for discretionary traders uh, that we all know about uh, well, very well, or too well, are uh, our physical condition at any moment in time, mood, feelings, and uh, the information overload if we tend to uh, use and just, you know, uh, uh, put indicators on our chart to look for the holy grail uh, and not being able to make decisions in real time at the required speed, especially when it comes to intraday trading, which is the focus of the presentation today. Uh, also, system jumping, uh, changing from system to system can result in uh, problems like decision fatigue or um, it can slow down the process of developing intuition which is, uh, I think, uh, a major component of success in trading, uh, whatever the degree of automation might be. And uh, we have to remember we are, as traders, one of the variables in our own system. If you look at the other extreme, uh, fully automated, a first question that comes to my mind anyways, uh, does it even exist? Because even if it does, uh, Somebody needs to switch that on and off at certain times, and that's a human decision right there. Also, uh, according to my, in my experience anyway, um, you know, much of, a lot of these uh, fully or mostly fully uh, automated systems uh, are backed by a team of PhDs, and I wonder how many of us uh, would have the budget to hire 10 guys to do constant data mining and tweaking and maintaining the system. And uh, one thing that um, might also be uh, a factor here that most fully automated systems uh, tend to break down uh, and need to be re-engineered after a certain while. So that may not be uh, the ideal solution, not a fully 100% automated system for, 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 for us and our audience today in any case. So we must be somewhere in the middle between the uh, two extremes, and I think there is an ideal spot for each of us. The, um, the, what I'd like to highlight today is what might be the factors and some of the recommendations, if I may, of how to find uh, the ideal spot for, uh, for our trading style. All right, so let me uh, put the highlight a little bit just for one minute on the REMEX system. Um, uh, we have discussed this in many event webinars before, so I don't want to spend too much time on this, but on the screen you can see um, the various, um, ad what we think are advantages um, of the system and the synergy that these advantages create together. Uh, we only trade proven setups based on proven markets principles, principles that have been true for 100 years, 
and we try to concentrate on those. Uh, in this case with the Remex system on an intraday time frame. And we also um, uh, consider the mental state of the trader is what we call in the flow uh, trading or in the flow decision making which means trying to make the decision uh, as easy as possible and as easy to manage as possible. Uh, in the Remex system we only basically have to make one decision, an on and off decision whether we want to take the next trade or not. And uh, for those of you who are interested uh, you can uh, check out our uh, videos on the website or or our previous webinars uh, where we really delve into this topic. So moving on, uh, one more thing before, before I, um, I, f I start to focus on uh, Blackbird. Uh, just imagine, uh, let's play a game, imagine um, a bank card, an ATM card, which has these characteristics. Uh, so as you can read on the screen, on average, it five times out of ten, it will give you $100, even if you don't have money. But five times out of ten, it will give you nothing and take back or debit your account $75. And each transaction will cost you five bucks. The question is, would you like a card like that? Now let me just open up the questions and uh, type a yes if you would, type a no if you wouldn't, you're not interested. Yeah, if you math, math, you, okay, some people are doing the math pretty quickly, pretty quickly, a lot of yeses are coming in. Obviously, I wouldn't mind a card like that, right? Because as you can see, and we get to that, uh, let me just see, here we go. Uh, there is an edge, right? If we keep using this card, obviously, here's the numbers, we're going to end up with a positive number. But the problem is, that we can never predict the next, the result of the next transaction. So when you go to the ATM, obviously, uh, we we'll never know what the next trade, uh, the next <laughs> result of the cash withdrawal might be. The results are completely random. But one thing we know, by Christmas, we'll have some money in our pocket. Now, the problem is with us being human, which can help us tremendously, and in certain situations, are basically work against us and uh, and uh, you know we human uh, humans are not too good at thinking long term or thinking in probabilities so it will be very discouraging uh, and that includes me of course and most of us probably to go to the ATM this imaginary ATM with this imaginary card and go there five times in a row and being debited 75 bucks each without taking any money out which statistically can happen very very easily now, the problem, I just mentioned this example because this is exactly what trading is. We must have a positive edge, but we must think long term and we have to work on our own way of thinking to kind of compensate for our instant uh, reactions or responding uh, resp responses that might be built into our nature. All right, so after uh, digressing into this little ATM story, let's move on to what we are here for today, uh, which is to highlight the cooperation between the Remex system and Blackbird, because that's what's going to give us the required consistency when it comes to trade execution in real time, and in an intraday setting at real quick speed, at the speed of light, basically. So let's see how we do that. This is what we want to do. Uh, we want consistent decision making at the speed of light, basically a series of if-then uh, scenarios and uh, this is exactly what Blackbird's algorithm that we're going to build in just one moment uh, will, will give us. And uh, well maybe we're not going to build such a complicated but, but we're going to build uh, one that is a little simpler but it will be enough to highlight the capabilities of the system. So basically this is this is the deal. When we enter a trade we want to cater for every possible scenario that may happen after we enter. So we have to cater for, with our algorithm, we have to cater for every possible scenario. And this is, uh, humanly to think this over in a split of a second is, is, is not um, really possible or even if it is it would be very 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 difficult to be consistent. And uh, 
it's something the machine can probably do better than us. All right. So one more little thing about uh, what we're trying to achieve here. As you know, the Remex system will, uh, we, we only trade uh, basically three setups with the Remex system. In this Bloodhound system, I'm sorry, Blackbird file that I'm going to build um, here in just a minute, uh, the signal itself will come from the Remex system. So the signal will come from the Remex system and Blackbird will govern or basically decide what to do based on the algorithm that we build, what happens after the trade, after we enter the trade. All right, so let's see. Let's create the system. Okay, let's create the system. So I'll, I, think, I wonder if I can switch to Ninja. Give me one second, guys, and here we go. All right, and we, here we have today's action from market replay since it's 4.45. So this is the 6C today at, let's say, right after midnight. And uh, we have uh, actually a BBS file, a Blackbird file already loaded. Uh, let me mention this is a, um, a file that we give out as a gift to all the customers, uh, including uh, any eventual uh, customers today. So if I, let's see, let's uh, start first things first. So for those of you who are familiar with the Remex system, this is our workspace. We have three charts. And on the precision chart on the right, this is where we run Blackbird. And if I open up Blackbird right here, we can see that this is our um, uh, professional grade uh, file on it. But what I thought I'd be doing here is basically start from scratch. So I'm going to erase everything and I'm going to save it under, under a different name. Let's say example. How about that? So here we have a blank file. And uh, as you can see, we have the signal here. This is the, the origin of the, of the signal, which is the Remex system itself. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with Blackbird, this is nothing new. So here is the Remex system, the current version of the system. Uh, that's what's going to give us the signal. And uh, here we can choose, I'm going to choose the drop down, uh, use the drop down menu, so I'll leave this blank. I can choose my exit strategy and after some major settings I can turn my attention to the actual trade management design. And so here we go, let's start. First order, I'm going to create my first order. And uh, since this is a Renko chart, probably it makes sense to enter with the limit order. What do you think? Uh, so let's see, I'm gonna enter close minus let's say one tick. So that's a limit order of one tick. And I want to, if I don't get filled, I want to cancel the order after five bars. That's pretty standard practice uh, to cancel the order sooner or later anyway. And one thing, one more thing I want to do, I want to chase price. If you are familiar with uh, Ninja Traders um, ATM um, advanced trade management uh, uh, functionality, uh, we can chase price and we can do the same thing here with Blackbird. Let me see if I can, I can give this a name. Hold on a second. Chase price, okay. And what I wanna do is I want to always be one tick behind the last price. And I want to repeat that five times because after five, uh, five bars, I'm gonna cancel the order anyway. So what this will do so far, what I got so far is an entry order, a limit order that will chase price for five bars and then cancel itself if I don't get filled. So far so good. You can type me a yes or if there's any problems or if I'm not making sense, just please let me know in the chat box. All right, so let's continue. Let's add a Perfect. Okay, so let's speed up a little bit. So time flies pretty quickly here. Let me quickly add a ATR target. Now you will notice my practice as, as often as I, as much as I can, I'm, I'll be trying to use ATRs. And the reason for that, if I ever want to uh, change the settings on my chart, 
ATRs, as you know, will automatically adjust itself, right? Since it's an ATR as opposed to like, say, 8 tick, which is just 8 tick always. So it's kind of hard coded. ATR is a soft coded version of a setting that allows me to to uh, be flexible if I choose to um, change the chart um, in the future. All right, so getting back to what I was doing, let's see, ATR, yes, I want to, the first ATR, how about three, okay? Let me put my first target to three ATRs. The last thing I need to do is a stop. Now, Again, um, I'll be trying to use a stop which is not hard coded. So if you say five ticks, ten ticks, whatever the number, that will always be five ticks, ten ticks. Especially with the Renko, I don't always know exactly where my entry will be, and I don't want to be uh, above the low, let's say, of the uh, inflection point, which means the candle where price turns. So Blackbird, it is just fantastic what we can do here. So what I'm going to do here is actually, bear with me one second, because I'm going to choose the low, and watch this here. If you know this already, this is nothing new, but for those of you who may be seeing this the first time, it's pretty amazing. I can look back, let's say, five bars. So, uh, so just one thing about the Remex system. With the Remex system, we always enter at the price inflection point. So always when price turns, that's, that bar will be our entry bar. All right, so obviously if I put my stop, uh, if I tell Blackbird to watch the past five candles, well, my entry bar will be definitely one of those five candles, all right? Even if I enter with some slippage, uh, I wouldn't say always, but 99.9% .9 anyway, so as much as we can think ahead. Um, and then I want to place my stop under, let's say, five under uh, the lowest point, you see the minimum value is the lowest point of the past five bars, the last five bars, and I want to be five ticks below that, wherever that is. So it's, it's a soft-coded soft algorithm. Wherever that may be, when I enter, that's where it's going to put it. Okay, so let's see what we got so far. So I have a pretty dynamic stop, which will watch the past five bars for me, place my stop five bars under. These settings can be anything else, of course. I mean, this is just an example. And uh, I have my target, and so far so good. Now, I'm going to trade with, um, in this example, with three contracts. So I want a second contract too, and I actually don't have to recreate the whole thing because I just want, I can copy the first contract. Here we go. This is an exact replica of the first order. And, uh, and notice this setting too. Right now, this is like category one, one type of contract, the other type of contract. I can increase the, the number of contracts within this bundle, as it were, later if I want to increase my trading style. Let's say instead of three, I want to trade uh, six or nine contracts. So this will be pretty easy when it comes, hopefully, to that level. But right now we're still working on my second contract and I want, first thing, I want to, let's say, adjust this to five uh, ATRs. My second contract, profit, I'm sorry, profit target would be five ATRs away. And uh, let's see, what else do I want to know? Maybe you can have a suggestion for me. Definitely, definitely when I when I, okay, let's, so let me do this. Uh, when we enter the trade, let me be a little bit farther away. We don't want to get stopped out by some freak move by the market from a good trade. So let me put this to 10 ticks away from the low of the past five bars. So let's make that to 10 tick. I'll, just, I'll uh, quickly modify that too. Okay, so this is where we're starting from. Now, one action I do want, I want something to happen when my first target gets hopefully hit, right? So when the first target gets hit, I want to put, and then this is an OCO order, so this will be taken out. I want my remaining contract to actually, uh, the stop anyway, to pull closer. All right, so I want, let's say, uh, let's say, uh, let's call this uh, first target hit. Okay, so what do I want to happen when the first target gets hit? I want well, first of all, I need to tell Blackbird what the event is, and the event will be another amazing feature by Black, uh, Blackbird. So A is the 
first target, A, profit, three ATRs. I'm going to get it, put it to any field because just in case later I'm going to have two contracts or three in this category. So any field is good for me. So this tells Blackbird when the first target gets hit, do something with the stop of the second remaining uh, contract. So what do I want to do? Let's see. Well, okay, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to be again five. I want to watch the, five, the last uh, five bars. But this time I just want to be five ticks away instead of 10 under the low of the past or last five bars. So that's, uh, that's okay with me. And you know what? I want to trail. I want to repeat these actions. I want to keep going with price indefinitely, let's say, every three bars. How does that sound? So if price just goes, 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 my trailing stop will follow it from a respectable distance. So far, so good. I got the second contract. Now, I want to have a third one because I want to have a runner, a, a, run, a runner type of thing. So let me quickly, and what I'm going to do, I'm not going to copy A because I actually I want to have everything in my third contract that B has plus some more. So I'm going to copy B, and here's an exact replica of contract B. Beautiful. Saves me time. And uh, what do I want here? Oh, yes. No target. That's the first thing, because I want this to run. I just want to, you know, trail this. And uh, let's see, I need to tell this guy something. One thing I definitely know, I need this stop to do something when the second contract gets hit, the second target gets hit, so I need to add a trailing rule for second, right, target, hit. Okay, capital H, let's be consistent. Okay, quickly set this up. You know how to do this by now. I just have to do, let's say, profit target 5 ATR. That's my second target. Any fill because we're thinking ahead in the future. And question, oh, and I want to be, where do I want to be? I want to tighten stuff a little bit. So I want to say, I want to be under, instead of 5, I want to be, three ticks under the last three candles. And let's not forget this must be the minimum value. Let me just check, was it the minimum value there too? I hope it was. Yes, sometimes I forget, okay. All right, so that's it. Let me see, do I want to, I do want to repeat it. Yeah, of course I want to repeat it because I want to repeat it indefinitely. And after each two bars, because I want to trail price, I'm going to take profit. I do want to get stopped out here. Please stop me out with this because that means I'm, I'll be making money. So here we go. So this is a quick example of how quickly we can set up a complete trading strategy, almost a complete. We can look at risk management, the money management in just one sec. Uh, I mean, something to program this, something it takes five guys, two, three weeks for sure, even a month uh, doing it the old way. Uh, and we're not even uh, close to what we can accomplish here because I can set the risk reward ratio as many of, of you know and I can exit a trade if it uh, even while the trade is on uh, uh, if uh, the you know let's say the loss exceeds $500 I want to get out like a disaster stop Okay, and money management, let's say, uh, let me start with, let's say we have a 50,000 account. Uh, I don't want to have more, uh, 10 trades a day, that's perfect. If I win three times, uh, five times a row, I want to go to the gym. Definitely, I'll stop trading. Uh, let's say, uh, I'm sorry, that was the consecutive wins. Yes, max number of winning trades. I don't want to say that. I don't mind winning. Uh, losing trades, five is enough. Let's say in max losing trades. If I lose four times, I'll call it a day. That's it. Max profit. If you want to set it, you can set it. One thing I uh, one thing I, I like doing is enable the watermark. And what this does, one percent of fifty thousand is five hundred dollars. So if I make five hundred dollars, uh, what I do not want is end up with a losing day. So what this can do for us, if I reach five hundred bucks in profits, should I go back to two hundred fifty? I will stop trading. See, if I give back 50% of my daily gains, I will have to stop trading. 
that's what the watermark does. I still, you know, kept two hundred fifty dollars, and I can look at tomorrow's the next trading day. Risk per trade, yeah, this is individual. Uh, depends on the account size, or you can set a concrete amount. Let's just say, I don't know, three percent. Sure, not for now, anyway. Okay, so when this is done, this is the example. I can save it and close it. I can save it this way too, and I can save it and close it, and uh, we're all set. So as soon as Ninja does its thing and gives us the chart, we'll be, we'll start to have uh, signals from the Remex system, and then as soon as we enter the trade, uh, Blackbird takes over largely and will manage the trade for us. So here we go. A quick example, let's do a trade or two here. I don't know what happened today, uh, so who knows. The purpose of this is not really try to prove what a genius I am taking the next pullback trade, by the way, here, uh, according to our Remex system setups and methodology, this will definitely be a pullback area for us. And this is where we want to go long from and probably target the close of, of uh, yesterday. But uh, for now, let's just look at the technical side of things and let me see how fast I have to go to get a trade. Let me show you how we use the drop down list if Ninja cooperates. Probably 100 speed is a bit too much. And I have three screens going, so uh, pardon me, I just need to wait till Ninja wakes up. Yeah, we have to wait a little bit. So in the meantime, let me tell you, so what I'm trying to show you is that, first of all, there's a drop-down list in the Remex system. The trader, there is one discretionary step. The first decision is done by the human. And this is where you will see a combination will place us somewhere in the mid-area between, um, hopefully in a sweet spot, in the uh, discretionary fully automated continuum. Uh, as soon as Ninja comes up. Give me one more second, I'll wait. I hope I won't have to, I will not have to restart Ninja Trader. But uh, stuff happens. Anyway, so just to finish my thought, there is a drop-down list. If in this concrete situation, let's suppose I would want to, okay, here we go, I would want to trade, oh here, that's why it slowed down a little bit because we got a signal already. And Blackbird and Bloodhound, I'm sorry, Blackbird and Remek had to calculate and for some reason we are not in a trade we haven't entered let me see okay let me uh, this time since we're not we uh, for some reason the limit order is not on the market let me just press it manually to meet the fit risk reward oh the risk reward okay I need to switch that off the risk reward why was that switched on let me Okay, let me just quickly uh, disable these because probably the risk per trade didn't allow me to do that trade. I'm not sure. That looks good. That looks good. Okay, right. So it didn't trade. Well, actually, this is a. Well, I've been just. I just demonstrated one feature of Blackbird. Actually, a pretty smart switcher. So if you violate your the rules that you set yourself then Blackbird will basically not take the trade. So it is protecting you. What happened now that Blackbird was protecting me? Uh, but since I want to demonstrate the trade now, I had to switch off those uh, features, uh, those criteria, and let me see if we can enter a trade here. Okay, it looks like uh, it's running away from us, so about a market order. Okay, so here we go. So hopefully I'll be able to demonstrate now uh, all the settings in real time that we program. So here's again the Blackbird settings that we programmed. And remember uh, the Remex system has its own algorithms built in. So what is happening right now actually that both are at work and uh, whatever conditions happen on the market either the Remex system or Blackbird will take action and uh, either 
lead us to a losing trade or hopefully a winning trade. So let's see if I speed up carefully, speed up uh, Ninja. I just don't want it to freeze, but also I want to have some action. So right now, either we're gonna demonstrate how our stop works or how our trading stop works, stop loss works, right? Or trading stop works or how we make or lose some money. Let's see. Okay, well, this is just after midnight, so it's, uh, so probably we're out. Okay, now one thing I can add to this, obviously, if I, if I place my stop pretty far from the market, if price starts to come um, against me, I can uh, show you quickly how we can uh, actually limit, limit the risk uh, that we have to suffer or the, the loss that we have to suffer. I can add a trailing action, maybe I'm not gonna build it now, but our commercial uh, BBS file that comes as a gift with the program includes this. So let me not go into that, that might take another three, four minutes. Uh, so the point is that if price comes towards us, towards our stop loss after the entry, uh, Blackbird can actually move the stop loss towards uh, uh, price and thereby it will, it will obviously get out of a losing trade if that's how we want to program it. So it is pretty smart. Let me try if uh, we can enter another trade, whether it's a loser or not. We are in auto mode right now. I do want to switch to long mode. I really want to take the next long. Okay, there is a long there, if in long mode anyway. So right now what the Remex system will do, for those of you who haven't seen this yet, it will take the next inflection point to the long side. We're gonna go long on the next green candle. I have made my decision as a trader. This is a good example of the yes, no decision. Let's see. It's not taking the trade for some reason. I'll have to troubleshoot that. So I'm just placing a limit order again. So here we go, filled. Okay, I'm not sure exactly right now what is not working, but uh, what it's supposed to do is enter Blackbird will, or actually the Remex system will put the order on the market, the limit order. And then from this point, everything's governed or ruled by basically events are being managed by uh, the algorithm that we built. If I speed it up a little bit, I'd like to demonstrate a little bit, little bit of a trailing stop if we can, and also the first target hit. Let's see if we can get lucky there. All right, first target, here we go. And we are, we pulled up our stop, in this case, uh, incidentally, exactly break even. And let's see if we can uh, survive the pullback, if there's any, and uh, potentially, here we go, our second rule kicked in. Remember that we, we might get stopped out, but that's okay. Okay, so in this case, we uh, just demonstrated another feature or rule that was built into the system, uh, which was, I think, the uh, trading of, of, the, of the stop every three bars, if I'm not mistaken. Repeat indefinitely every three bars, so that's what happened. It stopped us out, uh, but that's okay. Now, had we hit the second uh, target as well, then uh, the third rule would have kicked in, which would have followed the, um, the, the runner until we get stopped out. All right, so more or less, I hope I was able to uh, demonstrate how easy it is to build very sophisticated systems uh, with Blackbird, much more sophisticated than what I did live here in just a few minutes. And uh, you can really fine tune your trading style. And if you think back on that continuum, you can find that sweet spot. And in our opinion, and uh, uh, what I'd like to put the focus on today anyways, is how the Remex system and Blackbird, when they work together, can ease the, first of all, the decision-making process. Because with the Remex, it's only a yes, no decision. So 
let's suppose I want to take the next long, I switch to long mode, just like that, and I don't have to touch the mouse anymore. When the next inflection point comes, I'll be entering long, hopefully, automatically. It should, it is automatic, believe me. I just, I'm just not sure why I didn't do it this time. And then once we're in the trade, Blackbird will take care of the rest. And uh, if you do, if you do not use Blackbird, or if you have uh, another rule, if the Remic algorithms criteria is met, then the Remic will take you out of the trade or Blackbird will take you out of the trade, either with a loss or a profit, either side. So basically, with the, with the combined use of these two, two, two tools, right, um, you can care for any, every possible scenario that might happen after you enter the trade. And everything is done at the speed of light. Calculations are done by the computer and uh, you don't really have to do much else. And uh, one thing, the big bonus, is that all your trades will be consistent. Um, apart from the discretionary step, which will be up to you, the entry, choosing the, the setup uh, and which, tra which uh, trades to take, apart from that, everything else will be consistent. Uh, let me just add in brackets. You always have the opportunity or the chance or the possibility of uh, manually adjusting or closing or using any of these buttons. So manual intervention is always available. Uh, so none of, none of what I said means that you cannot manually adjust or, or modify the trade if you, you know, if you, if you think that something is not going right. Okay? But this demonstration is mainly about not using the buttons, but letting the machine do consistently what we pre-programmed. Okay, so maybe we can return this a little bit later. And let me go back to my presentation. And let's see. Uh, let me ask you if uh, this uh, made sense. And also Bob has a question. Let me just read it quickly. And if you guys have any questions about uh, what we just did with the Blackbird and Remick and how we built this little algorithm, uh, please f feel free to ask me now. Oh, thank you, Bob. Right. Yeah, but I don't think that was the problem, Bob. Uh, it didn't enter automatically, but I, I, yeah, I do understand what you're saying uh, about showing the signals on the chart. Thank you very much for that. All right. Um, any questions on the algorithm that we just designed? All right, maybe we can get back later to that. So since time flies, let's move on quickly uh, to the next slide. What else we got here? So we looked at the, yeah, we looked at this uh, algorithm that we can program. We looked at uh, the basic three traits that we look out for with the Remex system and we have created a very simple algorithm. Now, the last thing I want to touch upon briefly is having these tools, which are highly recommended, obviously, having these tools and uh, being on the path to becoming or already on being uh, a, 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 a successful trader, I'd like to outline for uh, some of you who may be interested what I think is a feasible path towards success. Even those of you who are already successful uh, can either agree or disagree with me. I'd be really interested in hearing your opinions. And if you're on your way to success, then uh, let me share some thoughts with you that, again, you may or you may not uh, agree with, but at least uh, I have shared them. So, of course, I do recommend using the Remex system. It's... It it's, it's a time-proven uh, methodology which simplifies decision-making and more about the system you can see and watch in many other webinars. I'm not going to go into that in much detail. Uh, we have just demonstrated, hopefully, the power, well, 10% or 5% of the power of Blackbird. And uh, you can create your own BBS files or if you, help, uh, to, if, you, if you need help creating one, we're here to help. And... Uh, Let's see. 
Okay, well, we certainly don't recommend overtrading. Overtrading in monetary terms and overtrading in numerical, like number of trades terms. So that's why we think, uh, you know, three, four trades a morning session is what uh, we humanly think is viable uh, because then decision fatigue sets in whatever methodology you use. Uh, let me just go back oh, one sec. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry, something's not okay here. Pardon me. Okay, here we go. All right, so three, three, four trades every morning. Uh, record your results. We have um, uh, these charts, these Excel charts online. Uh, we're happy to show to share them with you. Again, refer to previous webinars on where these links are. And if you have any questions, just send me an email. Uh, so record your results and repeat until profitable in sim mode for at least three months. Uh, when you're ready to trade real money, there's a little trick that some of us actually and some people I've talked to find pretty uh, useful over the years is to find a micro contract that's liquid enough to trade. Most are not, but I think there are two that I think are liquid enough. The micro euro and the micro gold are pretty good and it's one tenth of the large standard contract. So why is this good? Because if you look at the large standard chart, but if you trade the little micro instrument on a dome, let's say, then you can basically, you know, not totally risk free, but, but trade in a more laid back fashion and you can concentrate on the process instead of worrying about risk. Risk should be negligible then we have the ability, you know, over time we can get used to the level of risk that we're taking and we can live with it. And we can learn not to be too emotional uh, about any trades that don't go our way. Now, if we're able to trade the M6E or the MGC for six months with the profit, with real money, but the micro contract, then I think each of us who are in this business have earned the right to trade the standard contract. So that's one way to to get to where we want to be in uh, six months. And it's, you know, it seems like a long time, but six months go pretty quickly and the uh, sooner we start, the better. And if you've done this already, then my appreciation if you've done this journey or if you've traveled this journey already. All right, here we go, another little, oh, here we have, a, I have some more numbers. Uh, you know, with the three contracts, the type of contract, the type of Blackbird file that we set up, uh, three contracts, 150 each, you hit 450 a day. You know, I'd say go to the gym, go biking, do something else. Uh, that's good. That's good result. Uh, later, you can increase to six or nine contracts if you want. 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. is when we do much of the work when the car, when the, uh, uh, the market is closed. Perfect time, quiet time for analysis for the next day. And uh, this is again personal. Everybody has their favorite uh, site for news, right? What we watch is Feedweek. And I'm gonna share this file so the links will be intact. And of course, we want to know about Fed days, all those Wednesdays, 2 p.m. when uh, uh, environment, the trading environment, let's say, is a little uh, different and uh, can be strange and funny. All right, uh, I would suggest uh, considering specializing into an instrument or two, and that way you can go, you can get to know the instrument. You know, if, uh, if, my, if I have a headache, I wouldn't necessarily go to a, a knee doctor or vice versa, so I believe in specialization. And uh, most importantly, let's uh, each of us respect the market, give it the respect it deserves. On the personal front, uh, I think it helps to find a cause. Uh, in our case, we, let me brag about this just for one second, we are supporters and uh, sponsors of a guide dog school back in Hungary, our home country, a uh, country where there are not too many guide dog schools sometimes. So if you find your own, uh, you know, little thing that you'd like to uh, make a good, uh, uh, make the world a better place, then, then certainly if you're in a position to do so, it helps uh, the trader as well. And uh, needless to say, we need to keep in top shape. This is not a job, like a pilot or a surgeon or a prime minister, not a job to take uh, or to do uh, less than ideal emotional, physical state. Let me put it that way. 
All right, so thanks very much. That was the gist of it. And here's a little bit of summary, three points that we touched upon today. I'm not going to read it, but here's, here it is for reference, for later reference. And last but not least, I'd like to highlight our special today. Uh, we'll be changing prices around. Uh, uh, the one, the single uh, computer license will be phased out as of next month and other uh, changes may occur. So this is uh, up to the, let's say the 30th of September and definitely till the 24th as part of this uh, promotion you're welcome to take advantage of some special deals and that goes for the Remex system as well for all the bundles that uh, include the uh, amazing products by Shark Indicators. So here are all the details including the promo code and the link and there's another uh, promotion in progress if uh, you decide to spend more than $2,500 you just have to enter Remex 2500 to get a 30% discount. Uh, please note that the two promotions cannot be combined, but that uh, goes without saying, I guess. All right, and now what's included in the deal if you decide to buy? There's a one-hour, one-on-one cons consultation ses session uh, to set up the system any way you want and to answer any questions that you might have. It's, it's our pleasure to work with our customers, and we've done that for many, many years now. And as a gift included in the zip file, the download, there is a promotion, a production grade BlackBerry file that you can start using or start tweaking to your needs. Uh, the time will come when the Ninja Trader 8 uh, version of the Remex system will come out and all the uh, purchasers as part of this campaign will have a free upgrade to that version, the Remex system for Ninja 8, when it comes down, should be occurring uh, in the foreseeable future, although I can't set an exact date right now. And as always, the Remex system comes with a lifetime license and lifetime support. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, it's been a pleasure uh, sharing all this information for you. I hope you found at least some of it useful to your trading, and I'd like to give the word back to Ty and also to answer any questions that you may have, and I'm reading them right now. So Ty, while I look at a couple of questions, uh, take over if you want. Yeah, no problem, Ferenc. Uh, thanks again for uh, presenting, man. It's always great to uh, hear what you have to say. Thank you very much. It's my pleasure to be here. And uh, to all you guys listening, I put the link uh, in the chat. That's uh, www.remic.ca slash September hyphen special. And I will be sending the recording out uh, tomorrow morning. Thank you, Ty. In the meantime, I'm just reading some interesting questions. Let me try to answer some of them. Uh, do you have back test results for the Remex system? Yes, we do. Uh, Gabor, our head trader, has been trading it for nine years in this form, or similar form anyway. Uh, there's one thing, uh, one reason we do not publish it because the first step, the on and off switch, the yes and no, is trader dependent. So when you enter, and, and um, please refer to the Remec videos, uh, uh, when you enter the Remec trade, the first initial decision is yours. Now that's the reason why everybody's results will be different. Once you're in the trade, the execution, especially with the Black, uh, Blackbird, the way that we showed you today, showed you guys today, is completely consistent and can be made consistent. So that variable can be removed, but the trader itself cannot be removed from the equation. That's why it will vary. Now, the path to success uh, is to do like batches of 50 trades and, uh, and perfect your approach and uh, increase or develop intuition about setups. Con focus on three proven setups. Do not experiment, no, no need to experiment with more. I mean, there's, m there's many more setups uh, potentially, but the three proven ones will, will you know, uh, feed us and uh, buy us butter for our bread, as it were. All right, Micro Gold, Andrea, Yes, that's 
true. I mean, micro contracts, yes, the slippage can be uh, uh, sometimes surprising. Yes, I'm not, um, I wasn't endorsing any micro contracts, so I do not want to be misunderstood. I'm, I'm not endorsing any instruments. Um, it was an option, and obviously, like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., depending on the given instrument, uh, uh, you know, spread might be uh, substantial. So please be mindful if you venture to experiment with micro contracts, and, and please do so in simulation anyway until you get uh, the data that you know is needed to for you to make a decision whether to use them or not. Now the bundles, Martin. Okay, let me try to click on this link, and if it works, I'll open up the bundle. So here's our beautiful page for a September special offer, and I think this is the page that I has uh, shared with you in the chat. Uh, and if you click on the fall view of Toronto, then you'll see, first of all, you'll see that there is a sale independent from today's promotion on the monthly lease. And here are the bundles. We have seven bundles, and each of them is part of our promotion. Here we go. And we have uh, the Remex system, which is also part of our promotion. So all you have to do is click on a certain product, put them in your basket, click on purchase, and here's where you have to be. You have to enter September uh, special. I don't think it is case sensitive. Let's see. Oh, I have to remove it because you can't enter it twice. So if I apply it now, here we go. So it is not case sensitive actually, you can uh, type it in anyway, September special, one word, no space, and then you will be uh, given the discount right away and you just have to proceed with the purchase. Okay, so again, there are seven bundles. If you, sh well, we try to think of all the bundles possible, but if you should find one that's not covered and that's what you need, just let us know by email and we'll do our best to to create the bundle that you want for your purposes, uh, kind of cover most potentialities. But, you know, should it be not on the list, please let us know and we'll try to figure out something for you. So here we go. And, and uh, any more questions, please? Let me go back to our closing page. You can have our contact details there and uh, any other information that you might need. Oh, good question, Alan. Thanks for that question. Right. Uh, what is the difference between Bloodhound and Blackbird? Yes. Uh, let me try to answer that very briefly. And uh, let me go to Ninja Trader for a second. So, oh, look at that. We're, tra we're into some good trades right now. Okay. Uh, Bloodhound, first of all. Bloodhound is a product by Shark Indicators, our excellent friends at Shark Indicators, and Bloodhound basically, uh, many ways to put this, but I would call it a visual programming environment that allows you to uh, visually program strategies. So if I go down and put Bloodhound on the chart, Let me see. It will take some time. So when Bloodhound comes up, you will see that it's a separate product by Shark Indicators, and I'm sure Ty could go into more detail. If you'd like to take over, Ty, to answer that question, I'd be happy to hand it over to you. So what is the difference between Bloodhound and Blackbird? Uh, just, I mean, to make it simple, with Bloodhound, or with Bloodhound you can... You can build, backtest, and, and execute a trading strategy um, with no coding involved whatsoever. Like Farron said, it's, it's, it's all visual, um, and it's, it's, yeah, it's basically taking what, what, like you said, was taking weeks of work and, um, you know, executing it in, in minutes. Yes, thanks very much. And uh, the other end of the question, uh, Blackbird. Blackbird, as we saw it today, is basically takes care of things after we enter the trade. Bloodhound will produce the signals. Blackbird can uh, manage the trade after we enter, after we enter the trade. So that would, in my mind, that's the difference between the two. 
Uh, next question from Martin, is it also good for stocks? Yes, certainly. Anything that NinjaTrader can trade, or you can trade in NinjaTrader 7, uh, can be traded with Remek and can be traded with Blackbird. Yes. And we will soon have um, uh, the Ninja 8 version out of the Remex system and purchasers as part of this promotion will get a free upgrade when that moment in time arrives. Let's see what's the next question here. Do you have a do you provide a successful working Blackbird template with the purchase? What we provide Brian is a production grade Blackbird file which you will have to run in simulation obviously and potentially tweak it to your uh, to your uh, needs because there's a couple of things that we do not know. Uh, we do not know the trader's account size obviously so all the risk management settings would be dependent on us knowing what kind of money you trade with and what your goals are. Second, I, we don't know what instruments you trade and what time zone, what time of day um, spreads, um, any other information that might affect our decisions when, when it comes to programming um, trade management settings. So what we provide is a template, a, a BBS template, a pretty advanced BBS file, Blackbird file that we encourage you to tweak and test to your own needs. Remek Bloodhound on the ES from today. Andre, I wish I could, but I would have to download today's data. It would take me 15 minutes to get the chart ready. So uh, with apologies, you know what? I can, I can run it in the evening and I'll record it and I'll send you the video link. Uh, it's 5.30 now, so with apologies, I, I wouldn't want to go into that. Yes, uh, they demonstrate the BBS file that we provide. Yes, of course. Uh, let me just open it up. Give me a second. So that was the example. Uh, if I open up, uh, let's say, ProRenco version of this file. Again, it will be three contracts. And the trailing stops are a bit more elaborate and sophisticated and are, again, are provided for examples only. So you will probably most likely will have to modify the settings. So here we go, that's the, that's the file that comes with each purpose, three, uh, each, each per purchase. As you see, there are reduced initial risk, break-even point, and limit loss for when the trade goes against us. This is the situation where actually our stop will pull up and uh, limit our, reduce our loss when it's obviously we end up in a losing trade. So these settings are in addition to what we demonstrated in the webinar today. Uh, otherwise, low height, 10, 10. So our initial uh, stop loss is pretty far because uh, we don't want the market to really see a closed stop, you know, when we enter. We don't mind putting it far because this is just the initial stop. So whatever went price starts to move, we're going to modify this. I also wanted to mention something, and this is pretty, uh, pretty important, in my opinion, pretty important detail, and a feature of the Remex system, that, but also a feature of Blackbird. Think about it. Our initial stop is placed on the market, so what other market participants will see uh, is, a, is a market or is a, is, a, is a stop loss on the market, but the algorithm any other step or thing that we program, and then some other stuff is programmed within the Remex system, is not seen by the market. So the market will make a move, and we're going to answer and respond to that move, but what our response will be, nobody in the market, no other participants will see. It's no big deal, but, but um, in my opinion, it's quite substantial, because who wants to be, you know, be one of those stops in those hot areas that get stopped out? Uh, um, those weak hands, as, as, we, as we used to uh, call it. We don't want to be seen and we don't want to be in that crowd. So with Blackbird and Remek, we can avoid being there and we can just get out of the trade when certain conditions, you know, are compelling enough for us to do so. So let's see. Okay, so second contract, quickly just to go through. Here's some more elaborate settings and also a break-even point when 
the first contract, uh, the first target is hit, and we have, in case the second target is hit, we have another setting here to, uh, where is it? Second target hit, we have another trailing stop that will sooner or later will get us out of the runner. Um, so that's about it, and you can add risk and money management settings, but we didn't do so because this is an area that is really has to be customized for the trader's uh, particular circumstances. All right, let's see. Uh, oh, lots of questions. Thank you very much. Let me try to... Oh, so many questions. Give me a second, guys. Uh, can you omit a certain item from a bundle, uh, Daniel? Um, well, not automatically because it's set up already. But but please have a look and, and, and write to me an email what you'd like to do and, and we'll work out a good deal for you. Okay, so it will not happen automatically when you go to the shop, but tell me which bundle you'd like to modify, what you want to take out, and we'll work something out for you. Okay, so let's see. Give me one second. So Alan has a good question. Uh, so if I want to trade with the Remex signals, I will use Blackbird to help with trade execution and management, correct? Yes. Now, uh, one thing, the Remex system does work without Blackbird. So with the Remex system as it is, if you just buy that, all you have to do is to create, uh, to recreate our ATM strategy that also, that. Um, also comes with the project uh, with the with the download actually, but only in a JPEG format. And if you know Ninja Trader, I'm sure you do. Then you know that ATM strategies cannot be sent from person to person; they need to be created on the machine. So, so yes, there is a sample, and you can run the Remix system with SI Raven built in with Bloodhound, and you do not need. And for years and years before Blackbird came out, we did so too. Uh, traded it without Blackbird, of course. Now, the reason we suggest and recommend including now Blackbird in your arsenal um, when you trade with Remek, even if you don't trade with Remek, because you can create the level of consistency that is just impossible uh, humanly, by humans, in, in our opinion. So everything will be um, executed based on the same algorithm, exactly the same way, you know, um, um, but there's some slippage, of course, built in. Uh, there's nothing we can do about that. But otherwise, everything will be as consistent as it can be on the market. Next question, Bloodhound would be used to program and design my own strategies? Yes, you do need Bloodhound to run the Remex system because the Remex system is a, is a, um, is a protected Bloodhound file, is a black box, a protected Bloodhound file. So you need Bloodhound to run Remex. Uh, but you do not need Blackbird. You do not need uh, necessarily uh, Blackbird to run the Remex system. What we're doing now is to add the all the functionality of Blackbird to Remex, and that's why we recommend in this webinar getting both and uh, using them jointly. All right. So let's see. Oh, many other questions. Uh, thank you very much. Give me one sec to read the next. Uh, good question from Jeffrey. Uh, if we trade the ES or other instruments with the same settings as, let's say, the 6E or the GC, most probably we would not. And and thanks for that question. We recognize that you know, like 100 people in this room might be trading 80 different instruments, and that's the way it should be. And uh, it's not our goal to try to figure out what's best for each particular instrument. Um, what we're providing are templates that you can customize to your own needs. The Remex system itself, with these settings, can be pretty effectively trade, be traded on the 6C, the ES, NQ, all the, all the most uh, popular US futures. The YM, the GC with a 4-1 setting, and you will see many, uh, many videos in our blog uh, that uh, many trades on these instruments that were recorded and we have published on our blog. All right.
yes, there's uh, lots and lots of questions, but I'm not sure how much time we have, Ty, so please feel free to let me know if we're running out of time a little bit. Maybe oh, just one last you. question. Yeah, yeah, take your time. I mean, well, if, if there's I'll questions, you can answer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. go ahead. Give me one second. All right, so yeah, just to make it really clear, uh, Martin and everybody else, there's a, uh, some of you have a question, uh, asked me a question about BlackBerry and what's needed to run Remic and what's not needed to, Remic, uh, to run Remic. So just to repeat, Bloodhound is needed. A Bloodhound Ultimate license is required, is a prerequisite to run the Remic system. Also, obviously, Ninja Trader 7 is a prerequisite to run the Remic system. Um, we also say so in our on our website, so this is probably everybody or most everybody knows by now. What is up is Blackbird, optional but recommended. And in these days, in this uh, uh, nowadays, it is I can add highly recommended. So what is highly recommended is Blackbird, and and uh, have Blackbird uh, and use it con uh, in conjunction with uh, the Remix system. All right, thank you very much, and uh, I hope I was able to shed light on some of the questions. And it's been a long one, and I appreciate your time, everyone. And if you have any other questions, just send me an email tonight, and I'll do my best to answer them. So, Ty, here we go. Thank you very much for you, too, the invitation, and I'd like to pass it on to you now. All right, Ferris, thanks again for stepping in and presenting, man. Um, for anyone who tuned in late, we will be uh, mailing out the recording link tomorrow morning at the latest, so keep your eyes out for that. And everybody, uh, take it easy. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.